In early July of 1999, Mark Dribben disappeared. 42 years old. He worked at Portland International Airport and was declared missing after friends and family became concerned after the fourth weekend that they hadn't heard from Mark. Authorities went to his home for a wellness check, where they discovered a large amount of evidence to suggest that Mark had suffered a potentially violent fate. His abandoned car was discovered in the parking lot of a drug treatment facility in N.E. Portland. Mark was declared missing on the 6th. But four days earlier he had called in absent from work citing a personal emergency. What this was exactly was never determined. Also missing from the equation was evidence to suggest where Mark himself was, alive or deceased. To this day, his body has not been found. And he was officially declared dead in 2002. The theory from police originally was that Mark had encountered some sort of relationship issue with an unknown partner, and this individual was responsible for his death. It should be noted that Mark was a member of the gay community and did go to gay bars in various parts of Portland. In fact, he was last seen alive at the Eagle Tavern, a notable gay bar in downtown PDX. New information has come out recently that while cleaning Mark's house to prep it for sale, members of his family came upon a piece of paper with the contact info of one Christopher Lovren on it. This was noted by cold case detectives, though it didn't seem to be a particularly significant detail at the time. Fast forward to 2019. When DNA testing was very much improved and innovated on and samples found in Mark's abandoned car were being tested and run through databases, they came upon a single family through DNA submitted for ancestral mapping, of which further testing pointed to a metal fabricator who lived in Shea, Portland. He agreed to meet with investigators at a local bar and denied killing or having anything to do with Mark, but admitting he was heavily involved in methamphetamine and car theft in the 90s. Though he refused to give a DNA sample, some undercover officers were able to take the glass he drank from and test it for DNA. It was a match to evidence found in Mark's home and car. The man, 53-year-old Christopher Lovren, was arrested soon after. Lovren happened to live at the time, only a block from where Mark's abandoned car was found. Lovrian's lawyer eventually let investigators know that they should check the shed in his Shea. Portland home. Once there, they made a shocking discovery, containers with dismembered human remains. These remains would be identified as belonging to Kenneth Griffin who was last seen only two months before Lovrian's arrest Lovren testified that he had met Kenneth at a bar and taken him back home, where Lovren allowed him to use some credit cards to pay for the food. They then got into an argument which turned physical, and Lovren shot Kenneth several times with a crossbow in the neck and face and hit him with an axe. Afterwards, killing him. He then dismembered the body. There are some clear signs to investigators that in the 1999 to 2020 period Lovren had additional victims, though the latest information indicated that none had been identified. But seemingly this is someone brazen enough to kill even after he was interviewed in relation to a cold case. Furthermore, Mark's body has never been discovered to this day. Another lingering mystery to this strange case. So what are your thoughts? Could Christopher Lovren have more victims? Yet to be identified? Is he simply a bold double murderer? Links.